Today we will begin a new section on nutrition in biochemistry, starting with the basics of vitamins. Now, vitamins can be split up into fat-soluble and water-soluble vitamins. The fat-soluble vitamins are vitamins A, D, E, and K. Now, the gut and pancreas are dependent for absorption, and that is because fat is broken down in your gut and pancreas, and so these vitamins need to be associated with a fat complex in order to be absorbed in the gut. Now, there is a greater possibility for toxicity with fat-soluble vitamins because these vitamins can accumulate in adipose tissue. Fat-soluble vitamin deficiencies can occur from malabsorption syndromes such as sprue, cystic fibrosis, and mineral oil ingestions. Now, all of these malabsorption syndromes can present with fat in the stool, also known as steatorrhea. This is when you have a very oily stool that tends to float in the toilet. Moving on to water-soluble vitamins, we have a list here. We have B1 thiamine, B2 riboflavin, B3 niacin, B5 pantothenic acid, B6 pyridoxine, B7 biotin, B9 folate, B12 cobalamin, and vitamin C ascorbic acid. It's important to know both the B numbers as well as the common names of these vitamins because the USMLE can interchangeably use either for the test. Vitamin B deficiencies can lead to diarrhea, dermatitis, and glossitis. All except B12 and B9, that's cobalamin and folate, wash out of the body easily and these two tend to not wash out of the body as readily because these are stored in the liver. And these are the basics of vitamins in biochemistry.